First question is from Katie G. Hart. What is your opinion on finishers? Are they necessary or helpful to build strength? Ah, yes, the happy ending of fitness programs. <laughs> <laughs> the, fi- the finisher. Oh, I don't feel satisfied. I need to be finished. Uh, so finishers refers to exercises that people do at the end of their workout. These are made up. And they, right. They Why are. are you validating well, them? Well, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> explaining, right? They're yeah. isolation movements. They're designed to add more volume, give you a better pump, that kind of stuff. I get you know why people do it they want to get they want to squeeze in more sets without um creating much more damage but there is a much better way of increasing volume over time with your workouts that's that's just it if you were to take um that's why right, this question feels like deja vu for some reason yeah, no. yeah weird with, so the, if you were to take your uh, you know your workout programming whatever it is whatever you're following if you're not following maps and you actually just measured the total volume sets reps weight you multiply all three of those right and you get your total volume so let's say it's chest day and you and you multiply that out and you've got, you know, 15,000 or 10,000 pounds of total volume. It's probably some totally inflated number, but let's just say for argument's sake, 10,000 pounds of volume that you're moving of weight uh, on your chest. And you saw, you know, Joey Swole's Instagram and he's talking about the latest, greatest finisher exercise that you should do. Best uh, content. For, <laughs> for chest day, right? And it's, you know, and normally finisher, quote unquote, exercises are... You know, cable, like Sal's alluding to, isolation type exercises to kind of get the pump off or finish your workout. Okay, if you take th- that the same scenario and instead of doing a finisher of, you know, three to five sets of these pumping exercises and you added one more uh, set of your incline barbell press that day and one more set of your dumbbell chest press exercise that day, you will get way more bang for you. You'll get more gains from that than just adding a finisher exercise. And even if you're listening to me right now and you're like, oh, that's bullshit. I follow Joey and I did his finisher thing and it totally helped my chest. What, for two weeks? And then your body got adapted to that because all you did was add volume to a workout. The body responded, changed, grew, got stronger, whatever, adapted, and then now it's plateaued again. Like Until you figure out what you're actually doing that's causing the gains or not uh it's just it's it's silly to me and well, it's and I don't like validating these things because I think it just confuses people on how to program well, design well let's look at the value right the value is more volume less damage if that's what you're looking for uh, there's a better way to add finishers um, not at the end of your workout do them on the days off in between that's when I see lots of value of doing these isolation movements uh, and, mm. and getting the pump on the days. What we call frequency builders. Exactly. So like uh, like trigger sessions or focus sessions, right? Those are found in MAPS Anabolic and MAPS Aesthetic. Those are frequency builders. They add volume. They're lower intensity. And the exercises that make up those workouts would be considered finishers if you did them at the end of your, your normal long workout. So the way I like to do it is do your normal, regular, heavy workout – then on the days in between when you're off, when you're not training that body part, throw in a few sets of some of these finishing exercises. Do it that way and watch what happens. Now, if you want to add something to the end of your workout, um, add, iso- add excuse me, isometric movements. Squeeze the muscle really hard at the end of the workout. Do that for 10, 15 seconds. Hold the squeeze. Rest for 30 seconds to a minute. Repeat. Try that five ta- times and watch what happens. 